Keep on rocking in the free world. Keep on rocking in the free world. Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about my van life roof patio. But just before we get to that, let's uh, touch on a couple of things that you've been messaging me. A bunch of you have been asking me to talk about. Uh, so I'm just going to run it real briefly for you. Number one, our wonderful Prime Minister Mick Groper Socks Blackface has decided to use the pandemic as an excuse to become a tyrannical dictator and try to steal a whole bunch of firearms from people across the country. So this is going to be an ongoing fight for a couple of years. I honestly don't think it's going to go anywhere. I know no one's going to hand anything in. But this is my response to when a government wants to take our guns. Well, there's still, you know, about 50 times as many guns that didn't make it on their scary black gun list. So I'm going to go buy a new gun today because that's what you do when the government tries to take away your guns. thing everyone's asking me to do is a video on van life during this lockdown quarantine thing and all that. I already did a humorous comedy video on that showing how my life has basically not changed and and uh, just to extend on that that's exactly what it is. So I, I can't really do a video on that because nothing has changed. I go to work, I go out, I go to restaurants, I go to the beach, I drive to different cities, nothing has changed and you know what? If we don't change our routines there is no new normal. So, that's the best way to take our freedom back, 100%. Oh, and of course, gotta support those people out there that are protesting to end the lockdowns and get things back to normal. Right on. Because I always feel like a UPS or a FedEx driver when I drive with the uh, doors locked open because they always drive with their doors open. Except I should be wearing shorts, I think. They're always wearing shorts when they do that. You notice? I think they're just all showing off. And uh, thanks to the security screen I put over the back roll-up door, uh, on days like this, I just leave the door wide open as well. Hi, can I get a buffalo uh, grilled chicken wrap combo? Hell, my girlfriend and I even went to Walmart just to get out of the heat and get some air conditioning. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Air conditioning. <laughs> and now that's essential if you ask me. Fancy good Walmart is also <laughs> essential. Pick up some uh, some supplies for her uh, her plants. She loves gardening for her gardening. place, so we did a little bit of that. Looks really good. <laughs> Let's get to the deck. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is beautiful. It has been very very warm. Uh, we breached 30 degrees, so it was a sweaty day. I have a neighbor who pulled in next to me here. I recorded a whole video for you, but his generator was, was running. It was really loud. He finally shut it off, so I'm redoing the video now. So this video is going to be all about something that many of you have asked me many times about. My patio. Okay, so... I've shown it many times before, and uh, I've shown it in action uh, at a music festival last, last summer and stuff like that. So I just wanted to run it down for those of you asking, uh, because I'm getting questions about it, I guess because the weather's getting nice now, and people are heading to the beach and stuff like that. So um, how did I do it? And I've even been asked, where did you find the kit to build that? So <laughs> it's not like that, guys. This was all home built, and of course, that's the best. Homemade is always the best way and it's always the best quality. Even if they made a kit, I would probably avoid it. I would want to do it myself. So in this case, I spent about an, a month measuring, designing and figuring this out. So this is a step van and most of these step vans have the same aluminum roof. So it's a little dirty right now because it's, you know, it went through the winter, lots of rain and I'm going to have to pressure wash it. But um, they're all aluminum 
and I can walk on it safely. There is a steel beam every two feet and you can feel them. But I am not, I don't weigh that much. And what happens when you get four or five people walking on it? You're gonna start bending the roof in ways you would rather not bend your roof. So I wanted a solid patio. So what I did here is I had two inch square aluminum tubing, cross braces, they're quarter inch thick, running across the van, side to, side to side. Now what I did is I had holes, um, you can probably see there, there's a big hole. Yeah, that's so I could put a ratchet in and, uh, and get bolts down into the steel beam, which runs along the side of the roof to hold the braces down. And then this is composite decking, so widely available and, and a 25 year warranty. And it matches the dark gray theme that I'm doing on the inside of the van. Now the railings people are asking about those. So what I was going to do originally <coughs> was I was going to have a two foot railing all the way around, something that you can grab when you're sitting or if you're getting up or just something to brace if you need to. And then it could just be permanently because it's, it's not that high up. Uh, I, you know, it, it, going this much higher off the roof is not a problem. There are some truck campers taller than that. So that was my original idea, but then I thought, you know, it'd be really nice to have a, a collapsible railing, and that's what these are. So these are made for construction sites and rooftops for buildings and things like that. Um, and uh, they're uh, sold, you know, through industrial sources. These I got from uh, Acklands, I believe, and um, they, right after I got them, they discontinued them, but at least I got them when I did, and they're collapsible. And then I had it modified so I could bolt it into the uh, aluminum cross beams. So, this is what I wanted, guys. I wanted a patio that, I, I don't like setting things up and taking things down. I'd like everything to be usable within a minute or so. And I drive all the time. I drive sometimes every day, twice a day, sometimes three times a day. It's not like I'm gonna be setting something up and then having to take it all down all the time. Like, you know, in, so I, I've seen some people's railings where they have to like connect the bars all together, then haul out the seats and everything. No, no, I'm not doing that. I, because I'm, I, this is a daily driver. I need something that can just be there and be usable whenever I want. I get off work, I go to the beach, get up on my patio, enjoy the sunset and I don't have to worry about setting anything up that's extravagant or difficult or takes time so in this case the collapsible railings my boat seats I, I had to do all sorts of measuring and brainstorming online and then testing it in real life and it all works perfectly now let me show you what I mean <clears throat> so in order to close up shop and hit the highway all I got to do is this just Loosen the seat, turn the seat that way, flip it down. They have a snap lock on them, okay? And then tighten it. There you go. Voila. Voila. So my measurements all worked out perfectly. Look at that. The seats don't have to be removed. They're locked down tight. And I've been driving for almost a year now with this setup and it's fantastic. And it's still low, it's low profile. Uh, these are boat seats. So they're obviously made uh, to withstand far, far higher winds than they'll ever get on this, driving on the highway or driving through town. So they're fine, obviously. It's not that high. Uh, the average food truck with the big chimneys uh, for all their equipment is, is much higher than this. So it's perfect. As far as the railings go, they're not actually sitting right on the deck. Now they're, they're steel, so there's no need to lock them down. I have driven this van on the highway, on dirt roads, all over the place. They don't so much as bounce. They, they don't move at all. The weight keeps them down, but they have these little tubes which are, uh, I believe for construction sites, I mean, they all, all these industrial railings have these tubes and these rubber ends pop off and it's to put papers in as far as I know, because you, you shove your work papers in there, whatever. But anyway, so what I did is I just bent them down a little bit. So when I put it down, that's what's actually sitting on the uh, deck, the rubber. The rail itself is floating. I can get my fingers under there, see? It's just that, holding it down. This was all done last year when it was really hot and now it's getting really hot again. So, I mean, it's been up here all winter and um, it's been a fantastic experiment here. You can see I cut out the, um, 
square there for the um, uh, chimney. I have some deck lights as well. You see those little lights there in the corners? So at nighttime, I have a little bit of ambient lighting up here, and also it's good for safety to have some lights up here. This is what it looks like in the travel position. And the roof fence is just a standard escape hatch. Anyone can buy those off eBay, Amazon, or any RV shop. Uh, I needed one that would fit in between the two, the two foot uh, metal beams, obviously, to make it easy to cut into the roof. Uh, I'm going to replace the lid with an aluminum lid. Uh, lid. And um, the ladder, I did have a pull down boat ladder. I've replaced it with a proper. This is a telescoping uh, ladder. Uh, got it off Amazon. It's fantastic because you can raise it up to any height. I can also use it outside to get up on the roof easily if I want to clean things or work on anything. However, it's going to be a permanent install inside so that it just swings down or, or swings over next to my bed and then I can raise it up and come out to my roof. So that's a work in progress. There's my neighbor there. See, when I look at this, I, I look, look at all that wasted wheel estate. I mean, that is a big rig. But if you've got a van like the size of mine, it's about 23 feet long, right? Something like that. You can double your wheel estate by putting a patio on the roof instead of a whole bunch of vents and random solar panel here and there. And it's just kind of, kind of, I don't know, cluttered and not really useful. I only did about a third of my roof to make my patio because I still have plans for the front of the roof. And uh, maybe I'll do it a fake grass lawn. Maybe I'll have a lawn in front of my, my deck. Now that is for a uh, table, which uh, I did, I think I did show that last year at a music festival, but it's just a, a standard pole with a plastic table with cup, cup holders on top. Standard boat and RV table. It's the same thing. I, I just bought whatever one I could find. It, it works great, but it's a little too tall and the top of the table will probably blow off when I'm driving. And it kind of looks funny having a pole sticking up there. So I just I just take it inside. It only takes a few seconds to unsnap the table and put it inside and store it under my bed. So if I want a table out here, hey, I got a table out here. But this is so strong with the two inch aluminum beams, a quarter inch thick and two inch square aluminum beams that you can have people jumping on it and there's no, the whole van rocks, but there's obviously no flex. It's as solid as you can get. Now, this van was inside the Vancouver Convention Center for a um, trade show, which we do every year, my, my promo team. So I have a bunch of promo models. And, uh, well, we had about a dozen girls taking turns, four or five at a time, climbing up on the roof, dancing, taking pictures, and showing off for all the crowds below. Best thing ever. But all the rest of the year, it's my private patio. So I've got a patio at the beach, I've got a patio with camping in the woods, I've got a patio at the old Walmart parking lot. It doesn't matter. It's my private patio. So, you know, if you've got a van like this and you've got all this space on the roof, design it so that you can utilize it as living space. It, it just makes sense. One of the things that attracts me to boat life so much is that half of your living space is outdoors on the deck. And when you live in a beautiful place like here in BC, you want to get outside as much as possible. So. I prefer sitting outside, so tonight I'm going to sit outside with my laptop and maybe do a little bit of work because I'm not on my laptop that often, but I really don't want to sit inside on a nice day or a nice evening and stare at a computer screen. I'd much rather be outside, so that's what I'm doing. Hope you're all doing well. Keep on rocking in the free world. Warning, Just Incredible TV is not gluten-free. Click that subscribe button below and make them live great again.